Kyle Wagner is the champion today in Shenandoah. Kyle, uh, senior year, first win of your senior year. What are your thoughts on today's race? Uh, I thought it was a beautiful day for sure, and uh, I always love coming out to Shenandoah. You guys have a beautiful course here, and uh, um, I was glad Parker from uh, San Albert was here. Yeah. He really pushed me in the first part of it too. I love running with him. He's been running with me the whole my whole career. Certainly, you saw a lot of great competition on Saturday as well. Tell me about that run and uh, that race, a uh, very fast race on Saturday. Yeah, um, uh, Lewis Central is always going to be those top runners every year. Uh, so I just competed with them, and I think I fell off maybe halfway through there. They they pushed the tempo pretty hard that day, and um, I was glad to see another runner, Evan Lilly. He, yeah. he really showed up that day. Yeah, he did. <laughs> the uh, last year of cross country for you, You've done a lot of things during your career, a lot of wins along the way, medals. What, what, what are you trying to accomplish before you're done? Uh, just keep it rolling, too, and uh, keep racking up the first place medals. All right, well, congrats on the win today. Thank you. Parker Heister Camp, uh, runner-up finish from St. Albert's. Uh, actually, St. Albert was there on Saturday, but you're a dual sport athlete playing football and cross country, so that's where I want to start. How do you manage this? How's this work out for you? Uh, great coaches, an awesome AD. They just allow me to pursue both, like I've always wanted to do, so really kudos to them. Yeah, you uh, weren't able to run, obviously, Saturday morning following a Friday night football game. Tell me about this, the recovery process of that. How, did, how, does, how are you able to get yourself ready for today? Yeah, just eating right, uh, getting good sleep. Sleep's the biggest thing, I think. Uh, I have a great athletic trainer. It allows me to ice, you know, massage, all those new technologies like air guns and boots and whatnot. So just prioritizing recovery and sleep is big. All right, how about your race today? How'd you feel? What, what was your strategy and how did you feel? Uh, strategy was just to go out with Kyle. I saw what he did at uh, the Saturday meet. I thought, hey, I might as well just go out with him. I think I could run that. Uh, he's already ran a meet this year, so just kind of let him take it out, kind of feed off him because I haven't really raced in a year. So just kind of going off him, see what I could do. Just kind of got a little tired in the end, so it's expected first meet of the year. So, What does your race schedule kind of look like this year? I know you're probably not doing Saturdays. Uh, yeah, a lot of Tuesday, Thursday meets. Mm -hmm. And then might try and run a Saturday later in the year. Uh, week two of the football playoffs, so the day before state cross. So I want to see if that's even possible. So just kind of experiment with it. be a heck of a story if you can pull that off. Parker, great Thank job you. today. Uh, good luck to you. Thank you. All right, a couple of Red Oak standouts here going 3-4. Emmanuel Grass. Uh, Emmanuel, uh, tell me a little bit about your race today, how you felt. Uh, third place finish behind two you know, pretty good kids. Uh, I mean, it was kind of hot. Like last time, I, almost every time we run at Shan, it's really hot. But, I mean, it wasn't bad, this course. This course seems pretty flat, but it's a lot more hilly than you think. Um, but it wasn't bad. I was trying to get a little bit lower, but those two kids in front of us are always solid. So I was gonna try staying with this with Parker, but I mean, it didn't work out, but next to me, I'll try to stay closer and we'll see what happens. Yeah. You had a big year last year as a freshman, and now you got some other guys joining you. You guys are a state-rated team. I mean, what's, what's it like uh, running with these guys? Uh, it's, it's, it's awesome, yeah, I love running with the team. It's way better than training by myself. Way, way, way better. Especially with him. He's, I've been training with him for like over a year now, and it's definitely paying off for him. Um, and I think, I really hope we'll make stay as a team this year. I think right. we have a great chance. And yeah, it's going to be a good year. Definitely a good start to the year. Hayden, all right, uh, tell me a bit about your run today. How'd you feel? Uh, I felt good. Like, at the start, I was, I felt like I went too fast for my pace, but then like, I would say around the like first mile, uh, I think I got into my pace and I started like getting near more him. Like I got him in, I mean, he, was, he was pretty far, he was pretty far away, but I was still able to be like, to see him and everything. Like, but I thought I did very good overall. Like I was a little disappointed with the time. I, I, I would assume I got like a 1750 something, but I mean, it was all right. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's just, it was just hot out and everything, you know, yeah. but I run fast. No, yeah. Fast. I'm hoping to do better next year. Yeah. We will, we will. For you, tell me about your like breakthrough here a little bit. Uh, did it come from summer workouts or what, what's, where's this coming from? Uh, it's come from him, man. Uh, we did winter workouts, summer workouts, spring workouts, everything. It, it, it was the best. Yeah, well, congratulations, you two. Yeah. Great job. All 